Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Argentina up against Portugal. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The Argentina first team. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Lionel Messi starts with Angel Di Maria on the flanks. And leading the line, Lautaro Martinez. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Rui Patricio is the keeper. Joao Cancelo starts with Rafael Guerrero as fullbacks. Bruno Fernandes plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And the focal point in attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. And so the match is underway. Ruben Neves. Otavio. So this is it for Argentina. World Cup winners in 1978 and 1986. Runners up in 1930, 1990 and eight years... Oh, can he finish it here, Derek? And there it is! Living history! The opening goal of the 2022 World Cup final. Incredible celebrations! Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Bernardo Silva. Well, they have the ball once more. This looks promising. A fine reading of the situation. Bruno Fernandes. Otavio. This looks promising out wide. Our possibilities inside the box. High quality defending. Being egged on by the crowd, putting his body on the line. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Ronaldo on the move. And a goal kick will be next. Messi. And he takes it away. 
Now, do they mean business on this occasion? Real chance. Well, I'm afraid it goes down as a wasted opportunity. Well, no excuses. He should have scored there, and the goalkeeper got really lucky. He can't believe it. And Bernardo Silva has it. The danger not over. A good effect of pressure high up the pitch. Messi. Well read to put an end to that attack. Di Maria. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, what an opportunity. And Ronaldo tries his luck. Oh, a goal. He's equalised. Was he made for moments like this? On an occasion like this? Well, here it is again. And the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. And Ronaldo finishes it with so much quality. Just look how much power he hits this with. It's a top-class goal. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Messi. Messi. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Messi. Can he put them in front? Oh, it's in. They take the lead here. And just how important could that be in the grand scheme of things? Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. Well, underway again, it's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. Bernardo Silva. And Portugal moving the ball with purpose, but quick thinking defensively. Able to skip past his man, and that's a straightforward stop. Oh, big chance. It's opened up for him. And there it is. A two-goal cushion now. And just look at these fans. The trophy coming their way, surely. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And what an emphatic strike it is from Lionel Messi. Hit with his laces, it's a great goal. So back underway at 3-1. Cristiano Ronaldo. And he read it well defensively. Martinez. Molina. Went in strongly to win the ball. Jota. Well, making high pressing work for them here. No problems for the keeper. Messi. Oh, lovely incisive pass. Lionel Messi's got past the defenders. And it goes! A three-goal cushion, and you truly sense it's a matter of how many. 
Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. But I think the keeper has made a mistake here. While it's a decent finish, it shouldn't go in at that near post. Well, this is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. Ruben Neves. Determined defending. Cristiano Ronaldo. Speculative effort. Well, he couldn't worry the keeper with that effort. An effective challenge. Fernandes. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Bruno Fernandes. And this is Diogo Jota now. And with that, the first half draws to a close. And so the second half commences here. And it was one-way traffic in the first half. They're going to need all their time if they have designs on a comeback. Not the best challenge, free kick. And he gets away with a warning here. In my view, that's good refereeing. Strong, but not officious. Oh, fancy footwork. Lionel Messi, and the flag was up in good time. It's offside. Well, he should have realised that was going to be offside. That's a poor decision to play that pass. Ruben Neves. That's a very fine piece of tackling. Well, the supporters think it's on. A smart stop here. And over comes the corner. Not all that convincing defensively. He's got to have a go here. Ruben Neves. Ronaldo. Takes the shot. Well, able to close down the shot. And he takes it away. Well, let's see if something comes of this. Ronaldo. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. Shot attempted. And this time it's in! Fabulous goal! And just look at the celebrations! Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish.
So the current scoreline, 4-2. Martinez. Martinez. Well, with tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. Well, deemed to have been a cautionable offence. Well, no question about it. He deserved his book in there. Well, the free kick lacking just a little bit of guile. 30 minutes to go then. Diaz. It's with Guerrero. Not a bad pass it was. Supporters making themselves heard. There it is! The goals keep coming. No stopping them today. Well, as you can see, he gave the keeper no chance there. He looked so confident, didn't he? That's a cool finish. Fernandes. Here's Ronaldo. Jota. Not the pass he had in mind. Oh, yes! It's gone in! And now a chance for them to revel in the moment. Well, here's the replay, and he's got to clear his lines there. He doesn't do that. He has his pocket picked, and he's been rightly punished. Poor defending. Not a scoreline we see all that often. 5-3. Lionel Messi, back with Martinez, determined defending. Diogo Jota, it's a promising move from Portugal. And Bernardo Silva has it, and the keeper more than equal to it. So the corner played into the box. It comes to absolutely nothing. Well, Argentina haven't had that much of the ball so far, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. Messi! Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. A corner will ensue. Pressure on to clear his lines. Otamendi. Oh, great attacking play. Superb block. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch.
Cristiano Ronaldo racing forward, trying to catch them out. Well, not to be in terms of the counter-attack. Ronaldo. Now with Guerrero. Oh, fantastic effort. He made great contact, but the keeper more than equal to it. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And off the post. Touched onto the woodwork. Oh, he's lost possession. Now, who can he play it to? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Well, he could run onto it here. Lionel Messi. Well, good technique in terms of how he struck it. So a personnel change then. Five minutes to go. Moutinho. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Well, it looked like a decent avenue of attack, but he couldn't keep himself onside. Well, he's just a bit too eager there. All well and good playing on the shoulder, but he just needs to bend his run to stay onside. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Options in the centre. Really good block. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. And Di Maria, nothing doing on the passing front. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. And doing all he can to grab his second of the game. Well, he's been a real live wire today. A constant threat to this back line. It'll be a corner. Can he convert? Oh, keeper dealt with it. Well, another corner. Can they take advantage of this one? Now, sending it in. And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. Corner kick forthcoming. Let's see about the delivery. And he clears the danger. And Moutinho with it. Not on the target. And who knows, that might very well be that. Well, that's a bad miss. And probably ends their hopes here. And there goes the final whistle. For the third time in history, Argentina have won the World Cup. And I have to say, Derek, they've been the best team in the tournament. There's no doubt about that. Argentina, world champions. They did it in 1978 and 1986. They've done it again in 2022, Stuart. Well, this is the pinnacle of any footballer's career. And what a night it's been for these players and the coaching staff and, of course, the fans.